anyway, I went through that, and that was kind of the catalyst for me that got me out of uh, being uh, kind of stuck in the in this in this process of I'm afraid to get off food stamps because I'm not going to be able to support my family to just blowing up my business and becoming financially free and having enough cash flow to to in excess of my monthly expenses, and that was really the catalyst that I needed internally to to just blow through that barrier. Now that was a uh, an in person real intense type of uh, training that I, I went through. It was in person. And so 2020 hit happens and, and I just, I recently just watched this and he's, he's made a pivot. He's shifted. He's doing everything virtually and he's getting the same results. And, and, and this is why I bring this up. Cause for me, I'm thinking here, I'm like, Hmm, man. Um, you know uh, what I do, what I do in my local market because I can be present. I can be hands on. Um, I, I've only done a handful of virtual properties and they just were, you know, in my mind, they were the exception, not the rule. You know, they were the anomalies. And, and I've held on to this belief here. And then here I am this morning, I'm, I'm at the gym, I'm in the sauna and, um, and I'm listening to meet Kevin and Kevin O'Leary. And there was something that's so profound that Kevin O'Leary said, he said, Hey, what's up, bootstrappers? This is Ryan Nickel coming at you from Bootstrap REI. It's been a minute, but man, it has been a good minute. I've been spending some good quality time with my wife and my beautiful children. I've been traveling, going to some beautiful places. Got back from Disney World, went to Yosemite, uh, getting ready to go some other places as well. But I wanted to share this with you. I recently uh, have, have been having several different revelations, several different aha moments, if you will. And uh, you're going to want to listen to this message here because this is going to definitely affect you in a very positive and impactful way. So what am I talking about? I just got done listening to, um, well, two things here. I went through a program called Warrior. Um, I, was through, I went through, they have Warrior Weeks. I went through a Warrior X, which is an abbreviated version of that. And then I went through a Be The Man Challenge and all this stuff. Anyway, it's with Garrett White, Wake Up Warrior. Um, fantastic program teaches you how to really dig deep inside and find that personal power um, and address the the issues that are basically keeping you from power and production in your in your personal life you know your relationships with your wife with your family with your finances and with yourself of course so um, and not just wife just you know wife and family spirituality all of, all of that's all encompassing those four areas he calls it body being balance and business Anyway, I went through that, and that was kind of the catalyst for me that got me out of uh, being uh, kind of stuck in the in this in this process of I'm afraid to get off food stamps because I'm not going to be able to support my family to just blowing up my business and becoming financially free and having enough cash flow to to in excess of my monthly expenses, and that was really the catalyst that I needed internally to to just blow through that barrier. Now that was a uh, an in person real intense type of uh, training that I, I went through. It was in person. And so 2020 hit happens and, and I just, I recently just watched this and he's, he's made a pivot. He's shifted. He's doing everything virtually and he's getting the same results. And, and, and this is why I bring this up. Cause for me, I'm thinking here, I'm like, Hmm, man. Um, you know, uh, what I do, what I do in my local market because I can be present. I can be hands on. Um, I, I've only done a handful of virtual properties and they just were, you know, in my mind, they were the exception, not the rule. You know, they were the anomalies. And, and I've held on to this belief here. And then here I am this morning, I'm, I'm at the gym, I'm in the sauna and, um, and I'm listening to meet Kevin and Kevin O'Leary. And there was something that's so profound that Kevin O'Leary said, he said, you know, we are in a digital economy and he goes on to talk about all these malls that are vacant, that are being repurposed for, you know, uh, virtual kitchens and things like that. And I'm like, what the heck? And I just, you know, I miss my, 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 si my, my son, uh, my daughter, I was gonna say siblings, but that's not my siblings. It's my children. They, they watch Mr. Beast. He's this YouTuber. He's, he's fantastic. He's philanthropic. He's just, he's really, really charismatic, really clever. And he's like one of the best of the best when it comes to YouTube. He also has 
da, 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 a burger shop called Mr. Beast Burgers. And now here's the amazing part about this is just like Uber does not own any of their own cars, they basically have an app and then they, you know, they leverage other people's cars. And Airbnb, they don't own their own housing that, that people go and stay at, which by the way, when I was in Orlando, I stayed at Airbnb. When we were in Yosemite, we stayed at an Airbnb. And you know, basically every time I go somewhere, it's at an Airbnb. In Hawaii last year, Airbnb. So they don't own any of those assets, but yet they have an app that performs, that, that regulates the control and use of that. Here's the key. Um, the uh, Mr. Beast Burger has no restaurants. It's completely virtual. They rent a restaurant. They, they rent the space in the restaurant to prepare their burgers so that an Uber driver can come pick them up and then take them to you. It's completely virtual. As far as like that goes, they have no, no overhead, no cost other than just renting the space for when they use it. And it's, for, it's per use. It's just completely brilliant. And here I am listening to Kevin O'Leary talk about this virtual economy and, and these empty places that are going to become these virtual kitchens for these things. And I'm like, holy crap. Oh my gosh. How small have I been playing? I have had many of you reach out to me over the years. Why don't I put my content that I have in my local meetups online? And the reason for it was, I, other than I don't know, is that I just wanted to keep control of it locally. I wanted to be able to control everything locally. And I realized how small I have been playing because over the years what has happened is those local individuals that come and network and, and that are part of that training or that, um, that monthly uh, education cycle, they bring me deals and we partner. And here I am in this small little community, in this small little sphere, thinking like, okay, I've got this little thing going over here and playing with, playing with my sandbox. When I could be playing with the entire United States, I could be sharing this information with you guys monthly and you guys could be going and finding properties and we could be partnering and life would be grand. And that is the digital economy. And that's what it hit me. I was like, holy crap, I have been playing way, way, way too small. I hired a coach, oh my gosh. This, I hired a coach probably 2018 is when I hired him. And he was expanding my mind and my thinking, but I was too rigid in my beliefs to think that it was even possible that, or that I could handle it or that whatever the reason that kept me from doing it. And this is the, he saw the vision before I ever saw the vision. And here I am in 2021, you know, almost, uh, what, three years later, <laughs> finally starting to see the vision that he had for where I could have taken this thing. And so what I'm going to say to you is this, is that I am going to start posting my, my monthly meetups. They're going to be online. You're going to be able to have access to them. Obviously, they're going to be on demand because they're going to be on YouTube and they're going to be on the Facebook group. I'm reading both of them at Bootstrap REI. But important, more importantly, uh, what I've been doing locally, I'm actually going to expand it out to the entire United States, to my entire network. I feel like I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a live video. There's no editing. You're going to get that. <laughs> so, um, excuse me. Anyway, so here's what it comes down to is we have these, these monthly trainings and they're, they're jam packed with information. It's on one specific topic and then it jumps to the next topic the, the following month. And then it just, you know, it, it just goes like that. And then we repeat. It's kind of like a rinse and repeat. Um, I don't know how I'm quite going to, I haven't figured out the details yet. If it's going to be on demand, because you can just go to the first one, and watch the second one. But what I do from these trainings is, um, there's an invitation always afterwards. And that invitation is I only open up the 10 slots. I have 10 slots where I actually have a master class on how to do a deep dive into um, skinny deals or seller financing, creative financing, lease options. And I only have 10 seats. And the way that it works is it's $250 for the seat. You come, it's about two and a half hours, three, two and a half to three hours worth of content and then Q&A. At the end of the, of, the, of the two and a half, three hours, if you found that the value wasn't there, gladly return your money. Absolutely, no, no hassles, no fees, nothing like that. Here it is, here's your money. I apologize for not bringing value to you. I can say that's never happened. I can't say that it won't happen. It's, you know, it's always, always a possibility that someone may just, uh, you know, know more than I do. And they just come to check it out and they realize, ah, I know, I don't need this. And, and that's completely fine. Or they think, ah, oh, I'm gonna come get some free information and I'm gonna bounce. But then they realize the value that's there. They don't, they just, they stay. But anyway, that 250 is to, is to uh, make sure that the seat is definitely, um, 
if you show up, that's that's yours to be to be refunded. If if you don't agree, like if you if you don't like the information there, that's fine. Um, but if you don't show, guess what? That's you forfeit that two fifty because you now took a, a spot from somebody else. Like I said, I limited to ten because I want it to be uh, very intimate, very personal. I want to be able to make sure that your questions are being answered, that you're understanding the concepts, that this deep dive becomes very personal, so that you can actually walk out the door and say, you know what? I understand this, and I'm going to go out and I'm going to make this happen in my personal life. Um, and now, is it nuts the bolts? Everything that I know about uh, creative financing, absolutely not. But it's enough to get you started, to get you out the door working, and then eventually we can start to partner on some stuff. This is how partnerships, you have to be, you have to at least take this step if you're gonna to wanna to partner with me on any of this stuff. Uh, if you don't wanna partner with me, then that's completely fine. But I, I do not partner with anyone anymore that does not go through at least the master class to understand the fundamentals and the basics and what I'm looking for in a deal so that when they bring me something, we are both on the same page and understanding of exactly what it is that we're looking at here rather than me having to individually coach you one-on-one, -on -one, which I don't do that. I, I do, uh, my one-on-one -on -one coaching is for select few of individuals that have the, uh, you have to qualify for that. It's not just a financial commitment and qualification. You actually have to be doing, having done, done, done some deals and know what you're doing in real estate in order to bring me some opportunities. Because if not, it's a waste of both of our time. And uh, it's only going to set you further and further back financially to get you up to speed to where you need to be. I'd rather have you go out there, do some deals, understand what the process is, and then come to me so that way we can hit the ground running moving forward. But I digress. So this is, this is the exciting part for me is that I'm going to be able to share all this information with so many, many, many more than just my local community here. So just those that have been profiting here with me locally, fantastic. Good for them. It's amazing. It's, it's good for me too. But I'm also looking to expand my horizons. I see that there's so many opportunities that are going to be hitting the horizon here, uh, especially with the uh, the forbearance and the foreclosures that uh, sh will surely be coming, not in droves like they were in 2008, 9, 10, 11, and 12, but they definitely will be there. And there's opportunities for so many of us to pick up, to pick up these cash flowing properties, especially with those that are going to be... Um, that aren't going to work for wholesalers or for flippers because there's just not going to be enough equity because they've uh, you know they've they've added these these second these second silence these silent second mortgages onto the end of these uh, these properties and so it doesn't make any sense for for them to have you know a sixty thousand dollar deferment and then all of a sudden like oh yeah I want to flip this house and you realize oh there's sixty thousand dollars that I didn't account for but guess what those properties can all be taken over those payments can all be taken over and they can still cash flow especially if they expend out those extend those terms out to 40 years, you lower those payments, man. Those are cash flowing properties. That's a great opportunity for so, so, so many of us. So anyway, um, great opportunity. I, I don't have any room in case anyone's thinking about it. There is no room in April's class. Uh, April's class is already taken up. So if you're going to want, if you're looking to to join the master class, we do have some, a few openings in um, in May. We only do one a month. Like I said, I'm keeping it intimate. I don't foresee it uh, happening that I'm going to be doing two a month. They could change. However, um, I, I guess I could, I, I would, I could, if the demand um, going nationally like this were to expand, that I would do uh, two a month. But right now, we're just going to keep it at one a month and just rock and roll. So anyway, happy to share this information with you. Be look on the lookout for uh, links to the. Um, they won't be live. I'm not going to do a live Zoom. Or maybe I will. You know what? I think that's how I'm going to actually do it. Rather than put those trainings on YouTube so they can just be consumed. However, I'm just going to do a live Zoom every every month for the uh, the meetup. So rather than being live in my office with those that come, I'm just going to do a live Zoom. That way, uh, the content's always fresh. It's not like oh I've heard this before. It's going to be uh, you know it's going to be constantly updated, which is what I do with my markets and, and things that are happening and techniques and deals that we're discussing. So that's what we're going to do. So this month is it's actually every third Tuesday at seven p.m. my time. So um, I may need to change the way that that works. Go ahead and comment below. So I have been having them seven p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, if we are to do them live, uh, that would be 10 o'clock Eastern time. I don't know if that's quite going to work for so many people. We may need to change it so that it's 7 o'clock Eastern time, 4 o'clock my time. And just roll into it that way. So we'll have to play this one by, by ear. But go ahead and comment below. Let me know what time works best for you. Right now, currently at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. 
uh, every third Tuesday, and we may need to uh, to adjust that depending on the demand. If there's not a whole, whole lot of demand, asking for different times. Um, and uh, the, I think the only other, op- other, only other option would be is either 7 p.m. Eastern time or 7 p.m. Pacific time. Those are the only two choices that I'm, I'm, I'm looking to, uh, to accommodate on every third Tuesday. And uh, so let me know what you think. If you want, uh, if, if 7 p.m. Pacific works for you, fantastic, we'll keep that. If 7 p.m. Eastern time works, then we'll go ahead and make those adjustments as well. And, um, but you have the comment to let me know. All right, thanks for watching this video. And just remember, you're one deal away from changing your entire financial future. All it takes is one deal. And I will see you on the next video.